All right, so today I'm gonna to be going over um, some basics, <clears throat> uh, basic Yuzu settings for the, the Legion Go. Uh, it took a lot of, a uh, little bit of tinkering here and there um, in order to get some games working. Um, obviously, first and foremost, uh, you wanna install Emu Decky. It was originally an application uh, used for Steam Deck um, to kind of add everything into the Steam uh, user interface to make things everything uh, seamless, um, to set up the emulators, to set up the folders. Um, they have a beta for the Windows platform and the Legion Go platform, and it works really, really well to get everything kind of uh, set up initially. Um, but with the Legion Go, it has a really high resolution screen. Um, it's a, basically a 2K screen. It does have 144 hertz, which you can utilize um, on a couple of things. But it is significantly more powerful than the Steam Deck. Um, and after a lot of tinkering with a lot of settings, um, I've found a way to basically to get games um, for the Nintendo Switch emulator on Yuzu to run at pretty much a solid uh, 60 FPS. A few stutters here and there, um, but overall there's a high resolution and a high frame rate um, with minimal downside as well as good battery life because that's another thing when you get into handheld gaming is that you know you can crank a lot of settings out up there and run them pretty high but then you start to start to lose a little bit of you know battery life or you know your thermals are just getting so hot and when this thing is in the palm of your hands it kind of sucks if the thing's getting really really hot so just some basic settings um in the legion go right side menu um i have it at the full resolution the the 25 uh 60 by 1600 and then I have it at uh, 144 hertz. You can, it doesn't really matter, but um, you can run it at 60 since there's really no reason to be running at 144 hertz. Um, and then I got the frame monitor on um, so you guys can see how it's running. And then of course the Radeon super resolution. Um, so with that being said, um, if you wanna go into here and go into the performance mode, performance for the th thermal, mode uh the tdp or whatever and then the operating system power mode i noticed efficiency oddly enough gives you like a solid balance between battery life and performance i've been using this um pretty general use on almost everything that i have um you know pc games uh emulators the whole nine yards this seems to be kind of like a, a solid sweet spot here um so i haven't had any issues with that and it's been working perfectly fine uh with that um so now going over to yuzu um there's gonna be just a couple of itty bitty settings um that you kind of want to tinker with you usually don't have to do a whole lot um now if you're using emu decky and for some reason you've noticed things are all really blurry but yeah, in the settings here the resolution's all good i noticed that emodeki when i would launch through the steam shortcuts in the games um it would it actually changed my desktop resolution so i had to go into my settings and display and then raise this back up to its normal amount um despite uh it being it's saying this was here in the Legion Go space. The Emu Dicky automatically uh, switched the, the desktop resolution to like 720p um, as a default for some reason. Um, so I was really playing around with it. I was wondering why everything was super blurry. Um, so just make sure you go into your settings and make sure that you, you have your full resolution. Because the, with the Legion Go... Honestly, there's no reason that it can't run at that full resolution with and when playing uh, Switch emulators. I um, I'm going to test Tears of the Kingdom uh, shortly. Um, I noticed that game um, was pretty demanding on the Steam Deck, and for some reason, it just it was just impossible to get it running right and solid 
at any decent frame rate on the Steam Deck. I think, um, honestly, to God, the Steam Deck just wasn't powerful enough for that specific game. Um, everyone has a mixed bag of what performance they got, what frame rate they got. Um, just it seemed no matter what you would do, it just the frame rate was all over the place and personally like i don't mind 30 fps as long as it's consistent but that game was definitely an oddball um i have a couple of games here um that seem to be pretty good um some people say that metro prime remastered has a little bit of uh, a demand um but it's not too bad um super mario bros uh deluxe this seems to have just a smidge bit of demand um, and then Brilliant Diamonds, just kind of a run-of-the-mill game. So uh, same with Pikmin 3. I do like these games personally, but they have a different kind of requirement for how they want to run. So I feel like these games would be good um, in order to test everything out. Now, um, in general, um, this is really hard to see. My UI scaling is like really, really low. Um, so in general, I don't really, you don't really need to mess with anything in here. Uh, system, um, you don't have to mess with anything except for memory layout. But this says uh, six gigabytes of DRAM. Uh, the default is four. You wanna make sure you select six. Um, and then, um, let's see. And so yeah, you just want to change the memory layout to six gigabytes of DRAM. Um, that seems to give some pretty consistent, uh, decent performance uh, throughout most games that I've tested so far. Um, in the CPU section, you want the accuracy set to auto. And in graphics, you want to make sure you have Vulkan selected. You want VSync on with a FIFO. Um, and then the ASTC decoding method, you want it on GPU. Um, and then the NVDEC emulation, you want it on GPU video decoding. Picture mode, you want it on exclusive full screen. Uh, since the Legion Go has a uh, 16 by 10 uh, aspect ratio, um, I noticed that if you set it to 416 by 10 um there's some black cutoff bars on the side which are a little bit annoying so you want to just make sure you have stretch to window on and then with uh resolution you if you're running it in docked mode which is what i have it set to you want to make sure that the the resolution is set to 1.5 so it's going to run at 1620p which is going to be really close to the legion go's native resolution which is 1600p um, then uh, AMD Super Resolution on, um, and then FXAA sharpening uh, for the uh, anti-aliasing method. Um, and then that's pretty much it. And then in the control section, you wanna make sure you set this up, remap it to everything. Um, and of course have uh, this right here docked. You want the docked mode um, on. Now, if you've noticed that you have some performance issues in some games that you might run. Everything that I've ran so far runs really good with these settings. Um, but if you're having issues, just go ahead and select handheld and it should increase uh, performance there for you. Um, so I'm gonna exit out of uh, uh, Yuzu here. And then if you have Emu Dick or Emu Deki, however you, they say it, if you have it set up correctly, you should have all these like little fun little icons that make it really easy uh, just to enter Steam Big Picture Mode and just select everything. Um, so the first one we'll test out is Metroid Prime Remastered. And I'll show you guys kind of how that one runs.
There's a little bit of slowdowns here and there, but overall it's been pretty consistent at uh, the 60 range. Battery and the GPU aren't getting super, super utilized. Um, I did notice that in this game, even when testing it on the Steam Deck, um, with this game specifically, there's always a little micro stutter when you uh, enter new areas because I feel like there's just a little bit of loading that goes on. But overall, I mean, you're considering that you have a, you know, 1600p Nintendo Switch game in the palm of your hand. So essentially, with the Legion Go, you basically have the Nintendo Switch Pro. Like, you get 60 FPS, instead of having to have it docked and hooked in and all that stuff, you get 60 FPS just right in the palm of your hand, and with the double, double docked uh, resolution, and of course the larger, massive screen. I mean, this is my hand right here, and this thing is huge. Um, and this is a PS5 controller, so, I set it like kind of like like this it's pretty pretty huge um, it's a little bulkier uh, compared to other like uh, handhelds I noticed that like the Steam Deck it, it felt really really comfortable um, in comparison to the Legion Go um, so if you guys are looking for something that's not as powerful definitely a lot easier on like a budget, um, a little bit slightly more po portable, a little bit more flush in your hands, then I'd say the Steam Deck is a solid choice, especially the OLED model. Um, but if you want something a little bit more on the bulky end, you don't mind uh, the larger screen, um, then this guy, I mean, this guy is just an absolute emulation beast. I mean, running any game on it, it hasn't been very difficult. Um, I don't have really to do anything crazy or special to get certain things running. Like I can just follow along most tutorials and most setup processes and it just, it just fucking handles it like a champ. It's a really impressive machine. Um, I've been really, really happy with it. Um, so if anyone's ever watching this video and considering getting one, I, I, I definitely uh, I definitely recommend it. It's uh, definitely bulky, but definitely worth it. Um, I believe it's this uh, the strongest one out there so far in the handheld uh, market. Um, and of course, you get to play with mods, so this is... Uh, a Pokemon Brilliant Diamond mod that uh, modifies it into Pokemon Platinum. Um, it's a fan-made mod, and of course, you can't really do that with a, a Nintendo Switch. I mean, you kind of can, but there's some mods out there that just, it's just impossible. Um, so having that ability is really, really nice. The high resolution is, I mean, it's unbeatable, honestly. Um, and the fact that you get like an amazing battery life on top of all of it is really, really good.